All right, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, everybody. We're really in the end of the post-game stretch now. We only have a couple of bonus bosses left, and today we're going to start really diving into the bigger bonus bosses. Iron and Prisoner 4 was a bit tricky. Monstro was a bit of a puzzle to figure out, but now we're really going to start getting into the actual true bonus bosses. And we're going to start by playing as Aqua. She's the best overall, so the bonus bosses should be the easiest as her. This is probably just generally the order we're going to go in from here on out. Basically, each remaining episode will tackle one of the remaining four bonus bosses. And we'll play them as every character, starting with Aqua, then Ventus, then Terra. Because Terra really struggles. So here we are. We're back in the Mirage Arena. We've got our cool suit of armor. Let's equip stuff in preparation for this upcoming bonus fight. So we want Triple Viraga. Yeah, that's nice to have. Also go Triple Blizzaga. And where's Seeker Mine? There's Seeker Mine. Cool. And now we'll go for some of the bigger commands, like... Where's Magic Hour? I think it's probably actually... Yeah, there it is. We'll also go Magic Hour. And what else? We can go Time Splicer. That could be fun. Do we have Fyraga Burst, or did I... No, we don't. Actually, wait. We might, we might have to just scroll down for that one. We don't. We have Raging Storm. That's not going to be very good. Uh, let's try Glacier. Why not? And we'll use the Light Bloom key. Uh, Shotlock, why not? Oh, we have a new report. On the arena missions. Yep, we're arena level 29, everybody. In order to get the final arena level, we've got to complete Light's Lessons. And yep, that is the arena match that we're going to take on next. With the first of the remaining bonus bosses. So, we go to arena mode. Here we are. Once you're arena level 28, you can take on Light's Lessons. Five out of five risk, only one round. Bonus challenge, successfully block enemy attacks at least 100 times. And if that doesn't frighten you a little bit on how much they demand that you actually guard in this fight, then, uh, well, <laughs> God help you. So here we go. We're going to proceed with these settings. Move to the middle of the hub when you're ready. All right, well, here we go. Let's take on the next bonus boss in Light's Lessons. And ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting. You know that, Keyblade. Final round versus Armor of Ericus. So we get to fight Master Ericus again, but this time it's his armor and it's a data simulation and he's got a lot of new moves. So for this move, he's gonna send a bunch of projectiles at us and wow, we have no health left. And as you can see, he doesn't take much damage. This is probably one of the better designed of the bonus bosses, but um, I hate the fact that you can barely do any damage to him. He also has great light immunity. Which means that our Light Bloom Shotlock probably not going to be all that great against him. It's also, he also tries to avoid your Shotlocks. Actually, that deals a lot more damage than I would have thought. Oh, he's throwing the fireballs at me. Gonna Renewal Barrier them. And you fool, I have Teleporty McGee's power on my side. All right, and he hooked us with his Keyblade Whip. What's interesting about uh, Armor of Ericus, he actually kind of uses uh, command styles similar to what we do. But as you can see, we've been hitting him with a lot of attacks, and we have not... Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. We haven't really dealt a whole lot of damage to him. Because he just takes very little damage. Nothing from Glacier. Great. Oh boy, I love getting stunned. <laughs> yeah, uh... He's a toughie. He's no joke. You lose. Don't you stink. So Light Bloom did alright, but I do know this boss has high light immunity. So I think I'm going to replace it with something else. Not... Okay, maybe we replace it with Bio Barrage. That's a good one. Also, it looks like most of what we have here is probably not... Okay, Glacier did nothing. Then again, maybe it was just a case of I was... No, it does nothing. Let's try Time Splicer instead. 
Seeker Mine was, uh, well, we can try that again. Triple Blazaga, meh. Not great. We'll replace that with, let's try Fundiga Shot. All right, attempt number two at uh, Master Ericus's armor. And he, can, he even blocks our attacks a lot of the time, so that makes him even more fun to deal with. Get out of here. It's also implied that, well, this is a data simulation of Ericus, it's not the real guy. And it's implied that it's literally just his armor. Not the actual air, because it's an empty suit of armor that's fighting us. Which might explain why he has such good defense. Alright, let's see how Bio Barrage does. It's doing literally no damage. Until I didn't get the perfect uh, lock on at the end. Great. Redirecting his stuff back at him does deal decent damage. But it's also not super efficient. Oh boy, this is a new move. He has a huge move set, by the way, and he actually... Oh, is he entering the Spellweaver command style now? Just like me? Sure looks like it. What's interesting about Armor of Ericus, he literally, depending on which character you use to fight him, he gets different moves. So I'm pretty sure this move here he'll only use if you're playing as Aqua. Man, if he wants to chain you up, like, there's just not a whole lot you can do about that. Okay, well that would just wasn't fair, bro. You literally didn't even give me a chance to heal myself. You reduced me to 1 HP and then just immediately scooped me up and killed me. It's like my second chance at once more didn't even matter. Alright. It's time to go for the ultimate combo for this guy. I've been showing off Aqua's special moves, but no. This is where we really are going to have to start pulling out the Thunder Surges. I've used them a lot before, but like, no, no. You, you like, need Thunder Surges for him. Thunder Surge is basically the only way you can reliably deal damage to Armor of Ericus. So we are going with four Thunder Surges and four Kiragas. This is pretty much the ultimate uh, deck to deal with. Okay, Bio Barrage did nothing. Let's try Absolute Zero. I like the dash. I really like the dash uh, sh shot locks. Those are my favorites. If you guys, okay, if you guys didn't believe me when I said Thunder Surge was the most valuable command in the entire game, you're about to see why. Because most of the bonus bosses in this game, you basically need it in order to do anything to them. Which I don't really like, but, well, what can you do? Play dumb games, win dumb prizes. That's what I'm all about. So he can he can guard our Thunder Surge, but like, look, a single Thunder Surge dealt more damage to him than like Triple Fyraga or pretty much anything else was able to. Okay, he's summoning those. I just cartwheel around while they avoid us until they disappear. Okay, he shot more. That's great. Thank you, Renewal Barrier, for existing. Okay, Absolute Zero does alright against him. Not great, but not terrible. Okay, now he's just continually using the chain move. Gotta get out of the way, then. Oh, no, you don't. All right. <laughs> He's going into a super move. Spellweaver time. I do really like how he mimics our command styles. That's a really cool touch. Like, I like parts of this fight. This is definitely one of the better designed bonus bosses in the game, but I don't like how he can just kind of kill you and there's nothing you can do about it if he does the right move set. I also don't like how he takes basically no damage. If you're up against a boss that basically takes no damage from your attacks, Thunder Surge is one of your only possible options. Just because it's an attack that inherently hits a bunch of times, 
it means that even if they have insane defense, they still will take at least a little bit of damage just by nature of getting hit multiple times. And the fact that it's only one slot big has a fast recharge and it's just extremely flexible. Oh, I did not time that guard properly. Oh. Also, this boss fight theme is like a boss remix of the Land of Departure battle theme. Where we fought the light orbs at the beginning. Alright, yeah, you're no match for my Thunder Surge. Uh-oh. See, I don't like dealing with Eric. Oh no! He did his stupid unblo unavoidable unblockable combo. That's why you don't let him chain you up. If he uses the Keyblade, like, light chains, he gets super power, and then he can literally just combo you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do. Even though you've got a uh, second chance at once more, which should protect you from stuff like that, he just basically says, nope, I break the rules of the game to hit you anyways. And trust me, this is just a taste of what the brutal bonus bosses have in store for us. Armor of Ericus is one of the easier of the bonus bosses. This is why I don't feel bad about using Thunder Surge. I also love the invincibility frames that you get granted by Thunder Surge. Also, if we keep using Thunder Surge, we could end up in the Rhythm Mixer Command style. Oh no. No you don't. Oh no, it's freaking Ghost Drive instead. That's bad. I want to exit Ghost Drive as soon as possible. That's kind of like his let the darkness die move when we fought uh, him as Terra. Yeah, he, he at least gives us a show, that's for sure. Alright, Ghost Drive wear off, so thank you. Now the Ghost Drive is worn off, I can just cartwheel repeatedly and he can't hurt me. Yes, it's super cheap, and we are absolutely taking advantage of it. <laughs> Oh no, nope. I can never tell if he's about to shoot those things at me or if he's about to use his freaking keyboard chain move of supreme cheapness. Nope. Oh, that's bad. That, okay. When this happens, I'm just going to repeatedly cartwheel away from him. I'm going to cartwheel away from him until that thing... See how he has that, like, portal on his back? That's indicating that he's powered up from using the Chains of Light. So I'm just going to keep cartwheeling away from him until that disappears. Okay, I don't know what you're trying to do here, Ericus, but I don't like it. You fool, I have damage siphon. Yeah, look, even my shot locks are dealing almost no damage. Okay, he's not losing his... The thing on his back. Ugh. No, 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 that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I did not want to payback surge. Do not let him chain you again. When he does the chain attack, he's probably going to do the chain attack about three times in a row. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, Rhythm Mixer. That's not good. Oh, he changed command styles. No, 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 no. I did not want to Payback Surge. I wanted to Cartwheel. You lose because the game didn't let you Cartwheel. That's the problem with tying all of your reaction commands to one button. Sometimes you want to use one, but the game just don't let you. It's like, square is guard. It's also cartwheel. It's also air dash. It's also payback surge. It's also teleport and reversal. I don't want to counter blast him because that might send me into ghost drive. And I would much rather go into rhythm mixer. What? Why am I in ghost drive? All I did was thunder surge. I should be in Rhythm Mixer. And of course, right in time for his desperation move, which I desperately need Cartwheel for. Alright. When he does this, it's opportune time to shot lock. For oh, shame. No! I wasn't in front of you, you little butt face. I hate it when bosses can just break through the natural rules of the game to kill you. Don't you? Trust me, this is not the last time we'll be seeing that. Okay, I'm gonna go do everything in my power to make sure he doesn't get to chain me. And if he does, I'm gonna let him chain me a second time, so that way he can't do that stupid, unblockable, you're just trapped and die thing. I also hate how he can guard your attacks, although I guess because we can do it, it's only fair that he can do it as well. Okay, he chained me up once. Cool. So at this point, I'm going to avoid him like the plague. Unless he starts doing his chain move again. Because whenever he chains you, he basically goes to a different command style. So I don't know what command style he's in right now, but... Not any one that I have. Man, and it's such an accomplishment just to shave off one bar of his HP. He needs to have less defense. Like, come on, Shawlocks are at least supposed to shave off a bar of HP on their own. No such luck here. Oh no, I missed my chance to get, uh, chained up. So to speak. I actually used Payback Surge there to avoid getting trapped by his unblockable feint of stupidity. No, oh, no. So if he knocks you above him, use Payback Surge to avoid getting trapped in his thing of stupidity. Light Armor of Ericus. Okay, there we go. Yes, you can chain me up this time. Okay, he's taking way more damage from my shot lots now. Okay, I really don't want to be in Ghost Drive. Like, ever, in a bonus boss. Like, give me the Rhythm Mixer, not the Ghost Drive. Oh, great. Oh, great, he's back to the super cheap command style.
What? Why did it not work that time? Every other time in that battle, I did payback surge to avoid it, and it worked. And that time, he just delayed... I hate this guy. This is many people's favorite bonus boss in Birth by Sleep. Nope. It's... Don't get me wrong, it's not my least favorite. It's also not my second least favorite. But it is my third least favorite. Remember, in, in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, it's not a question of which bonus bosses do you like. It's which ones do you hate the least. Because there's really only one good, genuinely good bonus boss in this. And it ain't this one. So once again, I don't know if you noticed, but he's not staggering from any of our attacks. Even Thunder Surge, which is supposed to stagger literally absolutely everything. So, yeah. In other words, this guy is basically a giant cheater. Which, yes, that is a common running theme with the bonus bosses. Why do we get the feeling because I did just literally one counter blast, I'm not going to go in Ribbon Mixer and it's going to be a you went in Ghost Drive. Great! I had literally no possible opportunity to escape from that. This is literally supposed to be the point of second chance and once more. You are supposed to always be given an opportunity to heal, provided you have a heal on recharge. And then the bonus bosses enter and basically say, Nope! No you don't! The rules of the game no longer apply. We can kill you and there's nothing you can do about it. And this is as Aqua. Who, he's supposed to be the easiest of Aqua, but actually, because he changes his moveset depending on your character, Aqua is actually fairly tricky for this guy. Because he saves kind of his best moves for Aqua. Thank you, Rhythm Mixer. Okay, if we can get Rhythm Mixer to the finisher. Uh-oh. Here we go, all right. Oh, what a butt! He did his desperation move the instant I did the Rhythm Mixer finisher, so he didn't take any damage. What a crud butt. And he, did, had, he hadn't done his freaking desperation move for the last several times, and then he saved it right, wow. That's the ultimate jerk butt move. He wasn't going to lose all of his HP from that, but he was going to lose, like, a bar. Notice how, like, for Aqua, he pulls out kind of, like, his own version of Barrier to uh, stop us. But now he's staggering from the front. Okay. That's almost worse, because now you've made it inconsistent. Gotta preserve the Rhythm Mixer. Gotta get to the finisher. Gotta avoid his unavoidable death combo. Okay, you know what? Whatever. At least you're out of that stupid command style. And I'm just getting started with my stupid command style. Here we go. Yeah, see, even the Rhythm Mixer finisher is not doing a whole lot of- Well, okay. No, that dealt a good amount of damage considering his defense. So, that's what I was waiting for. Great. Back to cheating butt command style. My least favorite one of all. Okay, what the heck? It literally would not have mattered what I had done. If I had not payback surged there, he would have just trapped me in his unblockable death ball. And, but because I did do that, he's just like, okay, teleports away and then hits me before I can cure. I hate this fight. Birth by Sleep did some good stuff. Bonus bosses were not one of them. I also hate how, like, pretty much every single time you try to shot lock him, it's just like, oh, he, he teleports out of the way so you can't focus on him. All right, at this point, I do not want to counter blast. I don't want to payback surge. Doing that will send me into Ghost Drive instead. Okay, nope, you're not... You're not latching on to me. What? I got out of the way. BS. Yeah, well, that time I do have to do the payback surge. I'm still leveling up from EXP Walker. He did do a barrier surge against me, though. 
Well, maybe you missed the memo here, uh, Master Ericus, but Barrier Surge isn't better than Thunder Surge. What?! I healed the s I healed the frame my cartwheel stopped. I'm gonna go back to Light Bloom. Because that actually seemed to be doing all okay damage to him, even though he's, uh... Even though he has extremely high light resistance. Good thing that Ericus didn't pull out these moves when I had to fight him with Terra in Terra's main campaign. It was nice of him to go easy on me. This fight would be a lot better if you could stagger him with your attacks. Oh great, I'm in Ghost Drive now. The worst commands. Well. Alright, let's see how you like Light Bloom. That still didn't do very much damage. Oh, come on. Never fails. You enter Rhythm Mixer and he's like, okay, I'll just disappear so you can't hit me for the next 30 seconds. While your Rhythm Mixer runs out. His command styles don't run out, so why can mine? You can't even say that's because you're the Keyblade Master, because you appointed me Keyblade Master too. Okay, he's almost down to his last bar. Oh, shoot, no. No! Freaking Ghost Drive destroyed me! I really wish you could turn off command styles you did not want to enter, because for some stupid reason, Ghost Drive removes like all the invulnerability frames from your cartwheel. And if you do even one non-lightning attack, you will enter Ghost Drive instead. I want to leave Ghost Drive as soon as possible. So that either means I have to get to the finisher ASAP, or I have to intentionally die. Oh, or I have to intentionally let it run out. Here we go. Ghost Drive is a cool looking finisher, but it is such a bad command style. There you go. Yes, you can chain me up. Yes, you can do that. I would love it if you go back to this command style.
Yes, with a mixer. Come on, rhythm mixer. Come on, rhythm mixer. Come on, rhythm mixer. You've got to be kidding me. Every freaking time. Every time I get the freaking powerful rhythm mixer finisher, he's like, well, time to turn invincible for 30 seconds, so you can't use it on me. Alright, this will get him down to his last stage P bar. Kidding me. That command style change almost screwed me over. Yes, please go back to your old command style, please. Oh, we got this. Yes! We beat him, and we get a max HP increase. Oh. Master Ericus, I have surpassed you. You win! We got 41 out of 100 successful blocks, but we also get 800 medals. We fought our way through Light's Lessons in Arena Mode. We are now Arena Level 30. Anything else we can get at the shop? Ooh! We'll get the Giga Magic Recipe. At least for Aqua. That's how we're gonna do it. And now we get to play... F <laughs> now we get to fight Armor of Ericus with the other two characters. Yay! Alright, the first thing I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go back and see if I can change out of this Shrek Green armor because this is really just not doing it for me you know what even though green is supposed to be the ventus color we're gonna go for the blue set of armor here because to be honest aqua's got the purple set so we we need the blue set all right reports new character files where in other oh yeah we fought monstro that's right and at this point we just have yep just have lights lessons left. All right. So we'll use multi vortex. We're gonna change up our uh, commands here, though. Let's use ours arcanum. That's always a fun one. We also can try out tornado. We can try out faith, and then as our last one, we'll go wind raid. That's a ventus exclusive move. I mean, we're probably just going to go back to Thunder Surge, Kiraga, Thunder Surge, Kiraga, etc., etc., but you never know. We're also going to unequip Reversal, because I don't want that to override my blocks. We're also going to unequip Homing Slide, because I also don't want that to override my blocks. Everybody happy? Great. As for items, cool, we do have the Ultima Weapon equipped. We're going to want that. We also never did buy all the stuff from the shop that we needed as Ventus, so we can do that. Group Cure. Group Cura. Group Curaga. Confetti. The Victory Pose. Oh, we got Vanish. We don't need that. We got Trinidad. We got Voltage Stack. We need Unison Rush. And we still have 2,000 left over to get the Giga Magic Recipe. Beautiful. Alright, Ven. Lights Lessons. Same thing. <laughs> But this time, a little bit different. Oh boy, this will be fun, won't it? Well, we're, we're gonna absolutely die, but that's okay. And we'll get to see how uh, Armor of Ericus is slightly different when you fight him as Ventus compared to when you fight him as Aqua. And in some ways, he might actually be easier. Armor of Ericus. Oh, he blocked my Ars Arcanum. 
As you can see, he's glowing green. So we can still reflect those back at him. Hey, Armor Vercus, we got a tornado. Why can't we suck you up in the tornado, bro? Cheating. You didn't even let me use my faith ability, bro. That's not cool, man. Okay, Tornado is useless against him. He does not get sucked up in it. We know that now. Let's use Sonic Blade. And uh, do we have Aerial Slam? Do we? That will be fun. I don't think we have Aerial Slam. Let's use Mind Square. Armor of Ericus. All right, bro. How about letting me shock lock you? All right, it's doing all right damage. Yeah, as you can see, look at that. Armor of Ericus was flying through the air. Well, that's where Aqua's barrier really helps because you can guard from all sides. Or his block is one directional. Yikes. Okay, Multi Vortex actually did a decent job though. This is the real mark of mastery exam. All right, good job, bro. You blocked my, you blocked my Sonic Blade. How about my Wind Raid? Oh, he just flew over it. Okay. I'll hand it back. I'll hand that to him. That's how you do. You got to keep your distance. You canceled out my faith! Hey! You canceled my faith with your reason. That's not okay, bro. Wow, we dealt almost no damage to him. Oh, but don't worry, we have the Fever Pitch Command style. Wow, we got absolutely wrecked. Okay. The kitty gloves are coming off. We're going Thunder Surge. <laughs> He's like, desperation move time, even though you're already dead. All right, no. We ain't, doing, we ain't dealing with this. We're going Thunder Surge. As for Multi Vortex, let's replace that with something else. Not Photon Charge, because that's light-based. How about Ragnarok? That's a nice uh, Ventus command, and we haven't really used that. And by Ventus, I mean Sora used it. And Ventus is kind of Sora. <laughs> All right, no more games, Armor of Ericus. I showed off the cool commands, but now we're showing off the best commands. <laughs> the ones that are boring, but stupidly effective. Yeah, he uses like the different block and counter moves, depending on who you're playing at. So like he just did counter rush instead of counter blast. Where did you go? Yeah, he did that, like, nice little swipe attack. This is not doing anything to him. That literally did nothing. Okay. Well, we're not using Ragnarok anymore. Oh, but he, that counter's way slower than Aqua's counter was, so... I'm trying to figure out... So he's, he's glowing green right now. I'm trying to figure out what command style he's currently in. All right, you wanted to go get desperation move? That's fine. His move set seems to be a lot tamer. Oh, this is not Spellweaver. This is not Spellweaver. This is Cyclone. Okay, I really don't want you to link me with that. No, I don't. 
Yeah, he's actually giving me enough time to dodge roll out of the way. Granted, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to him. I am literally doing no damage to him, actually. Wait, now Ragnarok is doing damage? Why wasn't it doing damage earlier? basic move sets, but a couple of moves are different for him with each fight, which I, I do appreciate that each character has a slightly different fight. Like, that keeps it really fresh, because some of these bonus bosses, fighting them with every character is very repetitive. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that tornado. It just doesn't seem like the kind of thing I want to do. I don't know why my shot lock is sometimes doing things and sometimes it's not. Okay. Oh wait, shoot, he... No matter who it is, he always goes to the same super command style? That's not good. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I need, I need a better shot lock to be equipped. Fly, you fools! I'm just not doing damage to him. I'm actually okay with taking the death there. I need to figure out a shot lock that can be effective against him. I guess multi-vortex isn't too bad. Maybe I should go back to that. That actually dealt decent damage. But I think... Mm, no, I'm gonna go absolute zero. I'm gonna go absolute zero for that one. It's quick, and I know it'll deal damage. Okay, that's not doing much damage, but at least it's doing some damage. Man, he is fast when you are fighting as Ventus. Which makes sense, Ventus is the speedy one. I like how he was using like the air dive finisher there. Like, it's cool how he adapts some parts of each character's moveset to use them against him. Excuse me, does Renewal Block just not exist or something? I very clearly guarded him head on. Or is that one of those attacks where it's like, no, that pierces through guard, even though it doesn't make sense that it does. Okay, maybe we will go back to Multi Vortex. As, much, as frustrating as this fight is, I'm still savoring every moment of it. Because the worst is absolutely yet to come. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's how we're going to get this shot for damage. Okay, so he's immune to damage while he's doing this attack, which is incorrect. Okay. I did not want you to do that, no.
Oh look, the instant death move! He has that no matter which character you use. That's so fair. Never mind the fact that he traps you in Aqua's barrier before he destroys you. So basically, you just can't let him chain you. If you do, you're kind of dead. Especially as Ventus, where he can just kind of teleport around and hit you in the combo. It's just... Like, no. Okay, apparently you cannot block him while he's doing the I fly around the screen move. What is the point of guard if it doesn't work on anything? I'll be honest. I remember this guy being obnoxious, but not too bad. This guy's a lot more annoying than I remember him being. Like, I remember him having that instant death ball attack, but I didn't think he did it very often. But no, nope, no, he's just spamming it as soon as he gets the chance to. Okay, shot lock him when he does the fire pillar attack. That seems to be the key. I was not even close to being in range of that. Oh, yes. This really does seem to be the only reliable way of dealing damage to him, though. This is basically the fight as Ventus, just you gotta spam multi-vortex when he does either this light, the laser light show attack, or if he does the fire pillar attack. Yes, please go back to your glowing green wind attacks. Okay, that last one, you can't guard, you can't dodge, you can't do anything. Like, it comes late enough that you can't do anything to it, but it comes early enough that it will still, like, hit you out of it. Like, it comes early enough that you can't do anything to it, but it comes late enough that it still hits you and it avoids the guard. Okay, if you want to do your desperation move, that's fine. We can take a little bit, bit of a break. I just remembered, I can super glide. The fact that he can just teleport right next to you and immediately start attacking, like, come on. This isn't fair. Oh, and now he's just countering all of my shot locks. Cool. Great. This guy's still in the top half of uh, fairness when it comes to the bonus bosses, though. Out of the six in the game, he is in the top three for most fair. Actually, no, no. Okay, no, he's not. Yeah. 
Iron and Prisoner 4 is obnoxious, but he does not have a move where it's just like, well, you died. Oh yes, you can you can hit me with those. That's fine. Oh yeah! Oh look at that damage! Look at that damage! That's what you want. Oh. That's the downside of multi-vortex. It takes so long to get the max lock on. Oh yes. If you can multi-vortex him while he's doing that, way more damage for some reason. Okay, no, we can't Shawlock for that. He's invincible right now. Okay, you wanna do you wanna you wanna do this? Super Glide went awry. <laughs> right, keep our distance, we block. One more multi-vortex should do it. Okay, not for that, though. Goodbye. Yes! Die, you stupid armor of Ericus. And we get the maximum HP increase. Okay, multi-vortex hard carried us through that. Absolutely worth it, though. And just because of that, I would say, easier than it was for Aqua, which is rare. Yay, we are arena level 30. Hot dog, but now, oh boy, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna suck. We get to fight him as Terra now. Oh man, and Terra don't have the max invulnerability cartwheel or dodge roll that the other two have. This is gonna be great, isn't it? Okay. Let's start things out. Our shot lock, because our armor of Ericus is light based, he's a weakness to darkness, so we could do Sonic Shadow or Dark Volley. I'm gonna switch over to Dark Volley. I think that might be a little bit better, but I can switch between the two, no problem. Okay. Let's try our Solemn. Okay, again, I know these really aren't going to work, all right? But I still want to show them off because it is fun, at least. What does Limit Storm do? If, uh, additionally, if you're low on HP. Ooh, I don't like that. Dark Fyraga. Yes, Darkness. Actually, Dark Fyraga might be kind of decent. It actually might be kind of decent. And then we can... Oh, we definitely want Meteor. That's a fun one. And I guess out of the remaining ones, sure, I'll do Limit Storm. Why not? And for the items, we're still going Chaos Ripper. Because it's hard to argue with that strength and that reach. White's Lessons! Terra, these are the lessons you should have learned when you were actually my apprentice. But Master Ericus, Xehanort said darkness is cool, so I'm going to have him as my master now. Terra, you idiot! <laughs> I will teach you some respect! <laughs> Look, Ericus, I can't believe you hurt Ven. This is armor of Ericus. Alright. 
Oh my gosh! Bleep! <laughs> He's like, ha, I hit you the frame before your Kiraga charged. No. You lose. Well, I can't I can't say that this is a surprise. <laughs> Let me at him. <laughs> I am Terra. Terra will smash. Terra will use darkness to beat light. I mean, other way around. <laughs> Again, to everybody out there who loves Terra as a protagonist, that's great, but he's fun to make fun of. Alright. Wow! I'm so glad Dark Fyraga does absolutely nothing against the guy made of light. Wow! Meteor did nothing as well! That did barely anything. How come my R Solemn isn't knocking him out of his combo, but his combo is knocking me out of my R Solemn? <laughs> gotta say, it just doesn't seem fair. What the? You just teleported me away. Hey, Terra, are you ever gonna break out of these channels? Wow, that's different. Okay, it literally wouldn't let me do anything. I couldn't move, couldn't jump, couldn't break out, couldn't use any commands. Wow, that was fair. That's a weird camera angle. Okay, all these commands suck donkey butt. So, we are going to replace these with good commands, i.e. Thunder Surge. I would have thought at the very least Dark Fyraga would do something. Nope, Dark, Dark Fyraga just sucks. Versus armor of Ericus. Alright, Ericus, how do you like Thunder Surge? Also, it goes. It should go without saying. Do not equip Sonic Impact for this fight. Wow! I swear, this guy just waits for the instant your invincibility frames wear off and then strikes. Like, what is this? The Kingdom Hearts free data battles? I knew this fight was going to be tough as Terra, but I guess you could say this is hard as rocks. It's an Earth pun because Terra's name means Earth. <laughs> I get that a lot. Master Ericus, I don't understand. Why are you attacking me? Terra, are you this death? Dark Volley not doing a whole lot of damage. Oh, he's just blocking my Dark Volley. Okay, no, we can't have that. We're going over to Sonic Shadow. Or Ultima Cannon, maybe. Terra at least can pack a much bigger punch against Armor of Ericus than the others can, but... Uh oh, that's bad. Instant death. Yep, instant death. You make one... As Terra, if you make one wrong movement, you are dead. Because he can't just spam his dodge to get max invincibility frames. Okay, no. Dark Volley... That sucks. We are not using Dark Volley. We're going back to Sonic Shadow. And if this also sucks, then we're going to Ultima Cannon. If that sucks, well, then we don't have a single good shot lock to use. So that'll be great. Terra also can take a bit more of a beating than the others could. Okay, Sonic Shadow deals alright damage. You can also lock on very quickly. Look at him, he's doing his own slide move. Also, I'm gonna tell you this right now, this is a key move as Terra. Slide plus Thunder Surge. Seriously one of the best defensive options. I was not even remotely close to his chain. I was way out of reach.
Yeah, if you don't have two heals ready on standby, you're you're dying for that. I did not dash in time. I was trying to wait for him to stop doing that slam because if I had healed beforehand, he would have just slammed me again. Okay, I hate his desperation move where he just is like, I use my chain attack. What do you mean you weren't in my range? Yes, you were. And now you get tied up and instantly killed. Unless you've got two cures on standby. That's not good design. I don't care how cinematic it is. If it's not fun or fair, then I really don't care. And yes, you can feel free to use that in the future for your own sayings. Is this going to be another one of those rounds where, like, the shot lock is basically going to be my only method of damage? Because we don't want to get close to him. Cool. That's what I was trying to do at the end of the last round. Who would have thought Terra's default shot lock would be used this late in the game? Yeah, I was not even remotely close to being in with that range. Again, this looks really cool, but it's not really cool. And that's an important distinction to make. I couldn't tell if that actually dealt any damage to him at all. Great! All of that was undodgeable, by the way. Oh yeah, extra damage. Knowing when to shot lock him is definitely a big part of this fight. I also hate how he can just combo Terra so easily. Imagine not having second chance once more and or Leaf Bracer. Oh boy, desperation move time again already. Is there seriously no safe spot on the entire map to avoid this damage from? Like, at all? Because that seems very unreasonable. Or do you just have to time your slide absolutely perfectly? Terry, you're supposed to be the most powerful of the three. Why are you dealing damage at the slowest rate? It's because he keeps guarding every Thunder Surge I do.
So glad we had 15 seconds where I literally couldn't do anything. Wow, that time he actually didn't grab me. Again, slide, thunder surge. Okay, you want to go back to your original? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, no, that's not the original. That's the new style. Thank goodness he didn't trap me in Mr. Invincible Ball. This is the one where we can't shot walk through it because he's invincible. Ooh, I'm in Ribbon Mixer somehow. Are done. Wait till I get off my rhythm mixer finisher. Provided he doesn't do his stupid D I or DM. Oh great, is this gonna be another 15 seconds where I can't do anything? Thankfully not. But he was really trying to. He really does not want me to get my Rhythm Mixer finisher off. Like, every time I enter Rhythm Mixer, he's just like, better be super duper cheap so he can't get the finisher. Wait, what? There is absolutely no way. I was doing Thunder Surge. There is no way he could have hooked... I, I dodged out of the way and then Thunder Surged away. There is no possible way he could have hooked me with that. You literally have to time the dash perfectly. And great, I'm out of Rhythm Mixer. Entering Rhythm Mixer makes him like a thousand percent cheaper. And that made him go over is the Thunder Surge in the Invincibility Frame. Alright, he's on his last bar of HP. The darkness. Where did it come from? Well, oh, that's right. It came from me. Okay, how about we actually look at him properly? Rip him apart with Sonic Shadow. My two favorite Sega characters, Sonic Shadow. Again, not even close to him. This is such BS. <laughs> He's just like, I, I used my whip. What? You were like a five miles behind me? Doesn't matter. You're still getting whipped by it. At least I'm getting good at dodging the explosion. Great. Oh, he's taking more damage from Sonic Shadow. Now.
Bye bye! Max HP increased. Yes! Wow, Terra's HP is actually stretching beyond his character portrait. I'm so proud of you. And it's critical mode. You win! Yes! <laughs> I blocked nine times out of a hundred. You're a little short. We can only give you 800 medals. Worth it. Worth it. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. We've got the complete command collection for Terra as well. I think we have the complete command collection for everybody now. Which is great. And now we unlock a new main character. Armor of Ericus. A sentient suit of armor containing Master a, key, a Keyblade Master's will. The last will and testament of Master Ericus. To Aqua, I leave my Keyblade. Because it's made of light. Just like her. To Ventus, I leave the, the land of departure. He can stay there for a bunch of <laughs> for a long time. To Terra, I leave nothing. You were a disappointment. You shouldn't have used the darkness. Oh man, you use darkness one time and everybody, and then you're marked for life. Well, yeah, kind of. Darkness, not even once. All right, that's gonna do it for today, everybody. We conquered the armor of Ericus. We have three bonus bosses left. One of them is really, really great, and the other two are some of the worst bosses ever. <laughs> so I can't wait for you guys to see that in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.